Welcome back to the Lightspeed Social Agency YouTube channel. We are going to talk about building a pro landscaping website this week. Last week in our main video and podcast, we talked about sort of triage for your website, seven things you could do really quickly to improve your website and get it to convert better. This week, we are going to be doing our deep dive into how to build a profitable landscaping website. So just real quickly here, I want to give you some reasoning behind what we're talking about. Without a website, your growth is going to hit a plateau. You can only get so big without having your own website online. With a well-designed website, you're going to multiply every dollar of profit that you spend on marketing. It's going to make everything you do in your marketing and branding funnel more successful if they end up on a good website to convert. So in this video, I'm going to show you what makes a great landscaping website. We'll throw up a few examples for you to look at. And just real quickly here, I want to get this completely out of the way. Why do you need a website? It is your digital storefront that sells 24 seven. It lets you go one to many and sell directly to your customers. It is a, an opportunity for you to take what would have been a personal sales call, record it and put it in front of them. So you get to do all of the personal selling that you would do. It feels really good to the customer, but it can happen at two 30 in the morning while they eat a bowl of fruit loops. So this is the foundation for all your other marketing. Everything that you do to grow your business going forward is going to go through your website and probably already is now, unless you're like super phone based, super referral based. This is the way to actually scale your lawn care and landscaping business. So what does a great website do? We're going to take a look at scooterslawncare.com. We'll throw that up on the screen so that you can see it. So here's the thing. Number one, it answers customers questions immediately. Number two, it establishes credibility through a professional look and testimonials. They're showing you all about the business here. We can also look at, we used Blake Orman's company, Whiptail Lawn Care, as a great example of a website on the podcast last week. So you can see that it, it can generate leads through a form and contact info. That is the core of what your website exists for. It exists to get customers to take the next step of action, which is requesting a quote. So that is the core thing that you need to remember throughout everything else we talk about. The point of a website is to get people to convert from seeing that you exist to giving you their information to get a quote. It doesn't exist to do anything else, right? So anything that you're doing on your website, you have to ask yourself, does this serve the purpose of getting them to convert? So, you know, making yourself look professional, explaining your services, all of that sort of stuff is what gets them to convert. So you have to evaluate everything you want to do on your website, not in what makes it look cool, what makes me, you know, what pumps my ego. It is what gets customers to convert. If your site doesn't convert, it's useless. So let's talk about what you need to do that. The first thing that you need are clear call to actions on your homepage, especially there should be nowhere that someone stops to read something that there is not a big, bright CTA button driving them into the quote funnel. You need to have a user-friendly design. It needs to be mobile-friendly. I would say you need to design your website to be mobile-friendly first and foremost. Not, you know, like most web designers work on a nice monitor. I've got three monitors in front of me right now. That is not how the average lead is going to come into your website. They're going to come through on their phone or on their iPad, but probably their phone. And you want your website to work on their device. If it looks broken on a mobile device, it's going to make you look unprofessional regardless of how good it looks on desktop. And then finally, you need to have social proof, right? You need to have reviews. We are working with nearby now to provide customers with not just like awesome local SEO by logging work, but the opportunity to put reviews and log the neighborhood that they come from so that people can see like not just that you have a bunch of reviews because we want you to be getting those as, as much as you can, but also reviews from right where they live, right? That's super cool. So let's talk about how to win on local SEO because local SEO is so important. You want to be ranking for the services that you provide in the areas that you provide them. So not just generic stuff of just services or just your location. You want those squished together as your keywords. So you have to focus on the right ones and answer the right questions. That's the key here. What do you do? Where do you do it? Think about those things as you're trying to figure out your keywords, because those are the things you want to rank for. Those are the only things that matter to rank for, for a local business. And that's what you need to focus on, on your website. You have to create content that people care about on the website. 
That's images, videos, or articles that will actually get someone to hang out and read or watch a video on the page and stay there. We have a full video that will walk you through kind of the next generation of SEO. It's called SEO is dead because some of the traditional model, especially the article based stuff is kind of waning in how good it is. So please watch that full guide for what your content should look like. We just want to focus on the construction of the website in this video. So your website has to work on all mobile devices. I'm calling this out again because it is so important. If it 60 to 70% of your traffic is going to be on mobile. So you need to make sure that your website works on mobile, design mobile first. And then let's talk about using your website to multiply your marketing. This is going to amplify the effect of your flyers, your digital ads, anything that you are doing to grow your business. Even when people see the wrapped trucks in the field, they're going to Google the name of your business and click through to your website, right? So everything that you do, if you're able to increase the conversion rate, of when someone hits your website and they request a quote, if you're able to improve that percentage, that's gonna work for all of your marketing, right? If I told you right now that spending $20 would, would increase the effectiveness of all of your marketing, or if I told you there's one quick change you could make to your cruise schedule that would make all of them 20% more effective, you would jump all over that. But a ton of us let our websites look like garbage because we built it once and it's doing enough and whatever. It is so, so important to have your website be optimized for conversions, to be identifying the point in the funnel where people are falling out and not converting. And that's why you need to have analytics set up on your website so you can see what people are doing, what they're interacting with. You want to create specific landing pages that are optimized to convert visitors into clients. That's going to be like specific to the campaign you're running. So in the spring, when you're selling maintenance, you want to have everybody from your ad campaigns, from your mailers, hitting a specific landing page that's specific to the offer you're running or just the service and selling them on the service and build it out like a, you know, a squeeze page, a, a click funnels page. If you're familiar with like Russell Brunson's model for click funnels, I think your website should look a little less clunky than click funnels will make it look. But the principles there are great. Writing sales letters down that page interspersed with CTAs and photos of what their lawn could look like. That's the way to think is to think, how does my website serve the goal of this campaign? And remember, we've said the goal of every campaign that gets people onto your website is to take them from seeing that you exist and turning them into leads. So if you are not able to if the website is the point where you have all this traffic hitting the website and then no one is becoming a lead, something's wrong with the website, right? So we wanna build trust with clients by proving that you have all the right professional pieces that are gonna get the job done for them. And your website is a huge part of that because all of your customers are gonna come through your website at some point. You know, some people are gonna call from a Google Ads link or whatever, you know, they're gonna call you directly if you're okay with that. But the bulk of people are going to come through your website, and I would really recommend that you drive traffic that way because it is a one-to-many outlet. It is not you having to talk to every single customer on the phone. And if that's really important to you as that personal touch, you just have to make sure that your you know, profit model is built to sustain that in the long term. Most businesses, it's not going to be feasible for the owner to talk to every single customer on the way in. You know, you need maintenance people to be able to almost check themselves out. You know, they come through the process and then you get them a price. And then if they have a question or something and you need to talk to them to close it, that's fine. But that's different than talking to every single lead on their way in the door. And then finally, I want to talk to you about the secret weapon for your website. That is using Facebook retargeting ads on anyone who hits the website, anyone who engages with your Facebook post, your Instagram posts. We want to retarget those people so that they start seeing ads, pushing them to get a quote. Everything in our marketing funnel is about squishing people down further into the funnel without them noticing that we're doing it. So we have a, a walkthrough about how to do Facebook retargeting that we'll link to here. But essentially what you want to do is have anyone who sees you, engages with you in any way, be reminded that you exist until they become a lead. And then your email automated follow-up will take over all that sort of thing. So just a reminder here, it is so important to have a professional website. And I'm telling you this 
we don't design websites we don't build them we're not trying to get you to buy a website from us we don't have some you know crazy program where we're charging you five thousand dollars to build a website we partner with green frog web design these videos were actually on the slate to be done before ezra approached us about sponsoring the show we are so excited to partner with green frog web design because they provide a quality service at a good price we would really encourage you to look into them are you ready to have a website that is effective reliable and at a reasonable price with a website from green frog web design they offer free unlimited updates free website hosting, a free domain name, free Google My Business optimization and monthly updates included. And this will give you a website that's one to five pages all for one monthly price of $245. No lump sum upfront payment required. Green Frog guarantees that your website will be live in three weeks from their projected start date or it is free for a year. All right, so you wanna use your website to win at local SEO to get more leads. And ultimately you wanna grow your business to professional heights. Hey, if you have made it to this point in the video, I think that you've gotten something out of this. Hopefully you liked it. Please give us a like, leave a comment down below. If you have a question about your website, or if you want to have us take a look at your website on the podcast, we would love to do a, you know, no holds barred review of your website, give you a quick audit. You can't drop a URL in the comments. YouTube will filter it out. But if you give us your business name and then like a space and a dot and a com, that will help us find it so that we can review it on the podcast and it'll be on the channel. So please let us do that for you if you are interested in getting that audit. I would also gladly send over, we have a like full audit form that we do with new clients. I'd be happy if you want us to review your website, I'll send you over a copy of the, the audit when we make it so that you've got that. You can take some actions to improve your website. We would really appreciate the opportunity to do those reviews for you. And then subscribe. If you are not subscribed already, we would love to have you along for the ride. We just hit 500 subscribers and I cannot believe it that we have 500 people here wanting to grow their lawn care and landscaping business. I'm so proud that you are along this journey with us. We will see you on the podcast.